Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name's Mike and this is Wondershare Recovery, a platform where we help you resolve different technical errors and recover accidentally deleted files on your system. In today's videos, we'll take a look at different solutions that will help you fix sound not working in Windows 10. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name's Mike and this is Wondershare Recovery, a platform where we help you resolve different technical errors and recover accidentally deleted files on your system. In today's video, we'll take a look at different solutions that will help you fix the sound not working in Windows 10 error. This is a common Windows issue that gets triggered due to a wide variety of reasons, be it broken speakers, a damaged audio jack, or even a software related problem. But the good news is, is that you can easily diagnose the issue by yourself and even fix it as well. This video will walk you through all of the working solutions to fix sound not working error in Windows 10. So click the subscribe button below and let's kickstart this video with the first troubleshooting method. First of all, let's rule out all of the simple factors that could have caused the sound to stop working on your system. Start by checking all of the audio connections and make sure that they are perfectly plugged in. For instance, if you have connected your system to external speakers or headphones, make sure that they are connected to the audio jack properly and that there aren't any loose connections. Unplug and re-plug them if you have to just double check. If this doesn't resolve the issue, then let's move towards the next solution. Sometimes pending software updates can also trigger the sound to stop working error. So open up the settings app and click on Windows Update and then tap on the check for updates button. If there are any pending updates, your system will automatically download and install them. Once the updates are successfully installed, check if your PC plays audio or not. If you still don't hear any audio, try restarting your system. I know this might sound simple, but in many cases, performing a simple restart can solve various Windows related errors and audio not working is one of them. So click on the start button and then the power icon and then tap restart to reboot your system. If rebooting the system doesn't resolve the issue either, the next step would be to restart the Windows audio services. If you don't know, Windows has a dedicated audio services process that controls the audio playback. However, sometimes this process might stop working properly and cause the audio to stop working with it. If this is the case, all that you have to do is restart the audio services to fix the audio. Go to Cortana search and type MSC in the search bar and then select system configuration. Then click on the services tab and make sure that you have Windows Audio Endpoint Builder and Windows Audio ticked in the checkboxes. Then just restart your PC and check if your system starts playing sounds or not. At this stage, you might also want to check the audio settings on your system to ensure that the playback settings aren't configured incorrectly. To do this, click the start button and then tap settings. In the settings window, click system and then click sound from the left menu bar. Now browse through all the audio settings and make sure that they are configured correctly. While you're at the settings window, you can also check the default audio output device for your system. In general, the built-in speakers are set by default in the audio output device. However, if you have plugged in any external speakers or headphones, you have to manually set them as the output device to play any audio from them. If the audio isn't working in Windows 10, then go to Start, then Settings, and then click Sound as we have shown you before. In the drop-down menu, choose the default output device. Make sure that the default device is connected and working properly on your computer. If the window Windows 10 sound not working issue still persists, go ahead and run the audio troubleshooter to fix the problem. This troubleshooter is a built-in program that is automatically designed to scan and fix audio related problems in Windows 10. Here's how you can run the audio troubleshooter in your system. Tap the Windows and I keys together and click Update and Security. Then click Troubleshoot at the left menu bar and click Additional Troubleshooter. 
Then you'll see a list of troubleshooters. Click on the playing audio option and click on run the troubleshooter. If you have a few audio outputs, select the one that you need fixing and click next. Go to the levels tab and make sure it starts at 100. Then go to the general tab and click on properties under the controller information. A new window will appear and then click on the driver tab. Click update driver to make sure that you are running the latest firmware. Then click close and then OK and then apply fix. Try the audio again and see if it's fixed. If the issue isn't fixed, maybe audio enhancements needs to be checked. If you enabled the audio enhancements feature on your system, it might be the reason behind audio not working in your Windows 10 computer. No doubt this feature is tailored to enhance the audio experience, but it can often trigger unexpected audio errors as well. In this case, you can simply disable audio enhancements to troubleshoot the problem. Again, tap the Windows and I keys together and click Update and Security. Then click on the Troubleshoot option in the left menu bar and then click Additional Troubleshoot. Then you will see a list of troubleshooters. Click on the playing audio option and click run the troubleshooter. If you have a few audio outputs, select the one that you need fixing and then click next. Click on the enhancements tab when the new window appears. Check the box next to disable all enhancements and click OK. Then click apply fix and try the audio and see if it's fixed or not. Furthermore, you can also fix the sound not working error by changing the audio format on your system. By default, the Windows audio format is set to 24-bit, 48,000 hertz. However, sometimes third-party applications end up changing these audio formats to different codecs. Again, tap the Windows and I keys together and click Update and Security. Then click Troubleshoot in the left menu bar and click Additional Troubleshooter. Then you'll see a list of troubleshooters. Click on the playing audio option and click on run troubleshooter. If you have a few audio outputs, select the one that you need fixing and then click next. Click on the advanced tab and make sure to select 24 bit 48,000 Hertz. Click OK, apply the fix and then try different formats to see which one works for your speakers. If this doesn't work, then this error can also be a result of accidental deletion of files. This usually happens due to a presence of malware and viruses. If you are dealing with the same situation and you have lost any valuable files, you can use Wondershare Recover It to get them back. Our data recovery solution is tailored to recover deleted or lost files on different storage devices. It doesn't matter whether you have lost pictures, videos, songs, or just your regular documents. Recover it will help you get them back without any hassle. Follow these easy steps to recover lost or deleted audio files using Wondershare Recover It. Install and launch Wondershare Recover It on your system. Once the tool opens, select the location from where the files were deleted. Recover It will automatically start scanning the selected location to fetch out all of the deleted files. After the scanning process completes, you'll see a list of all the results on your screen. At this point, browse through these results and select the files that you want to restore. Click the preview button to check a preview of these files. Once you are happy with the previews, click the recover button at the bottom right hand corner and select the destination folder where you want to save these files. So that's everything you need to know about how to fix the sound not working in Windows 10 error. We really hope that this video has helped you fix the audio error on your system. If you have found this video helpful, then make sure to press that like button and leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one in the future, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.